Hey there, gang. Patrick King here, coming to you live from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Today's question comes to us from Erica. Erica wants to know, what are some of the things that we can do about cinchy horses? Currently, I've changed the cinch type, I clean it regularly, and I tighten it slowly and progressively. Are there any other things that I can try to help my horse to not be cinchy? Honestly, Erica, those are the things that I would recommend doing. Making sure that the cinch first primarily is fairly wide so that it's covering a pretty good surface area for our horse. As far as I'm concerned, the wider the better. The more surface area we're covering, the more the pressure is distributed over the wider area. Uh, moving her around and cinching slowly would be the next thing that I would recommend. If our horse is still cinchy, generally, uh, I see uh, three issues, three causes in general, okay, this is a generalization, but I find three issues that tend to be the cause of that, uh, that cinchiness. The first one is ulcers, stomach ulcers, and I know this seems to be something that everybody's on the bandwagon about lately, uh, but I'll tell you what, that's kind of our a primary sign to us that the horse has ulcers is sensitivity while being cinched. Uh, another thing I would look into is the chiropractic care. If they're out of whack in their withers or their back, it's going to cause them to be cranky, just like it would with you or I. Uh, the third factor that I like to check out with that is muscle soreness, other body soreness. So we're talking about potential things like massage or other forms of body work, uh, like the Masterson method. Recently, yesterday, we did a video uh, with Wendy Schaefer, who's a Masterson worker. Um, so if you wanna look back, check over that method, that's something that uh, I think is a great idea. It's shown to be very effective with a lot of the horses that I've worked with uh, who have who have had treatments of that. Uh, and then we might be looking, you know, further along, looking down the road, looking at things like acupuncture or, you know, that sort of thing. But so generally, the three primary causes that I see of cinchiness in horses, number one above all is ulcers, stomach ulcers. So you want to check that out. You want to treat for that if necessary and have a horse on a regular maintenance program. With the way their digestive systems are, it really seems to me that if they're working, if they're stalled, if they're being touched by humans, chances are they're prone to ulcers. So, uh, and again, cinchiness is one of the first signs that we see in uh, horses that are testing positive for ulcers. So that, after all the other work that you've been doing, Erica, that would be where I would look. Um, Otherwise, by the sound of it, you're doing all the right things. So I hope that this is giving uh, you some insight. I hope this is helpful for anybody else who might be wondering why their horses have a tendency to be cinchy in spite of uh, taking all these other precautions. If you have uh, a friend that might need to hear this advice, please tag them in the comment section below this video or share this video with them personally question of the day for today since we're talking about cinchy horses what's your favorite type of cinch maybe a favorite brand favorite style i know with the western cinches specifically we have a lot of different styles roper styles and more narrow styles uh, with with the english styles as well we're seeing a lot of variation come in there cutbacks in the shoulders wider for jumping what's your favorite style of cinch uh, for your particular discipline What's the discipline? What's the favorite style of cinch? Looking forward to hearing your comments. Leave those in the comment section below this video. Don't forget, gang, you keep sending in your questions. Send them to us uh, via message here on Facebook. Send me a private message. Send us an email. Post your question in the comment section below here. You keep asking questions, and I'll keep talking about horses. Thanks so much, gang.